Hey coconuts and welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea and today we're going to be coloring up my coloring book and this will be my first time ever testing out Ohuhu markers. So let's get into it. I'm so excited that Ohuhu sent me these markers. They sent me the 36 color skin tone set. In this set it includes a swatch sheet which is super important because we all know these colors never match the cap. And then they also sent me this paper guard that you put behind your paper so the ink doesn't bleed through which I thought was a nice touch. They also sent me the 96 color set from the Honolulu series and baby it's giving pastel paradise okay. They send you this little pamphlet with more information and again some more swatch sheets. So let's start off by swatching all these colors. The markers come with a brush nib as well as a chisel nib. I did not show the chisel nib, my bad. All of the caps have the names of the colors on them. They don't include it on the barrel. As a business owner, I get it because they're all blank so you don't have to worry about matching up and it just makes the process a lot easier for production. But as a consumer, it would be nice to have the names of the products on the barrel, I'm not gonna lie. They also include color zero, which is a colorless blender. I don't typically use these, but it's nice that they include it. Now here are all the swatches and the first thing I notice is we got hella peach colors. Like so many peaches, too many peaches for me personally. Um, that's not really my jam. I wish there was a little bit more variation in the pinks and purples. And then here are all the skin tone colors. Potato brown, shout out to John with waffles. If you know, you know. Now let's get coloring. So this is a page from my coloring book and I have some really exciting news about this coloring book is that it is included in my collaboration with Macy's for Black History Month. So on February 1st in over 300 locations plus Macy's.com I am coming out with a collaboration that will include t-shirts, tote bags, journals, notepads, and coloring with coco volume one so in 300 locations they will have these coloring books on the shelves and guys based off the quantities that they bought i'm a little bit nervous i feel like each location doesn't have a ton of the coloring books so if you are interested in getting one i would definitely get out there in stores on february 1st and get you one I will be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned for details on that for people who do go out to stores and make a purchase. But if your location doesn't have the Coco collab, don't worry, it's also going to be on Macy's.com and the coloring books will be restocked on shopcocomichelle.com as well. So let's talk about the markers. The markers are juicy, okay? I learned very quickly that I had to leave a little bit of room around the outside to make sure that it doesn't bleed outside of the lines because they are juicy. I did not have one dry marker in the batch. They layer beautifully. As you can see, I want a little ham on the cheekbone, okay? The girls are giving very much clenched jaw. That was not intentional. <laughs> That was an accident. I was trying to layer and blend and it just kept building on top. So that was a little bit of user error because I wasn't like quite sure how it was going to layer. Um, as I did it more, I was able to get more of a technique down. So don't be discouraged by the strong jaw. That was my bad. The skin tone set I was very happy with. I always get nervous um, that the skin tones are gonna come out a little too red or too yellow, but these colors were like the perfect saturation for my art style. So it worked really well with the look that I go for. And there was a ton of different highlight and contour shades that I would be able to use to get that look that I like. Also notice that Gigi here doesn't have a nostril, so I just drew that in. I get a lot of questions on how I add dimension and shadow to my pieces. And I have coined the term intuitive shading because I rarely am like, where's my light source? And it's not because I don't know how to do it. I went to school for fine arts. I took a ton of studio art classes as well as figure drawing. 
um, and studied how to find your light source and to create shadows that are realistic. Um, I'm not going for realistic. <laughs> I'm going for stylized. I'm going for pretty. I'm going for impact. So sometimes I put shadows where shadows don't belong, um, but they feel right. So it's hard for me to want to tell you guys like this is how you shade because I don't shade the way that you are traditionally taught to shade. I think as you are new in your art journey, you should learn the proper way to do it. You know, they always say, learn the rules before you break them. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Learn them and then decide how you wanna do it, you know, and apply that knowledge however you want to. As you were coloring, you might notice a few streaks, but once it dries down, it was like really super flat. Um, there wasn't a lot of like opaque areas. Like you could get a really nice flat wash of color very easily with these markers. And I liked that. So as long as the ink is still wet, when you layer over it, it's going to fill in all those gaps without giving you any kind of patchiness. And that was really nice to see. Like these are very comparable to Copics and way more affordable. Based off of the colors provided in the skin tone set, I was able to get all the variations in the skin that I was looking for. I did not need to reach for any other colors that I already have in my collection. So I would say that the skin tone set is really comprehensive and you don't need any other colors to make these skin tones happen, which I really appreciate. I did go in at the end and add a little bit of texture using colored pencils, um, but that was not necessary and really like I only did it a little bit. I didn't do it as much as normal because I was like, I don't really need to do this. So we are so excited, but it has been emotionally and physically taxing. And it was just incredibly difficult for us, especially just coming off of the holiday season, to have the capacity to do anything. Um, I was barely showing up on Instagram. My TikTok slowed down in terms of my posting schedule. I just really had to do that for my own mental health and clarity. Um, but we're on the other side of that. There's like some back end things that we're still working on, but all in all, all of my loose ends are nearly tied up. So I'm excited to be able to create content, to test out new products and do things that I love doing for you guys on social media. So I'm happy to be here. Thank you as always for your patience. You guys are always so supportive. You guys notice when I kind of go MIA, you check on me and I genuinely appreciate that. I'm gonna try and get, I have all of the stores that they're gonna be in, so I'm gonna try and pull together like a store list so that you guys can look up and see which stores will have our collection. Um, but it will also be on Macy's.com. I wasn't able to get units of the shirts for me to sell on my own um, because I'm basically licensing that through a third party because the quantities that they needed, I would have needed to spend like nearly $300,000 to be able to fill that order. And I don't know about you, but I don't got that. So I was able to license it and come to an agreement, a really a nice agreement. If I do say so myself, I negotiated the hell out of that thing. Um, so that I was able to get properly compensated for the use of my art while not having to worry about the labor of getting that produced. So that's been nice. But I know that a lot of you are international and Macy's does not offer international. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to try and service everybody. But we'll, we'll figure that out for you guys. So here we're getting into like some of those pastel colors and I struggled. I really struggled trying to pick out the colors I wanted to use here because th this is not my palette. Like very rarely will you see me reach for pastels. So I'm excited to use this marker set more so that I can get more comfortable with it because I love pastels in real life. Um, I just don't create with them ever. So I was really struggling with the palette here. Um, I feel like I almost had an idea going here. <laughs> There was almost a palette and then I threw in this like random violet for the little girl shirt and it like threw the vibe off. Um, and also I wish I made their earrings the same colors as the background, which you'll see later. But instead I was trying to tie this random color palette together. 
by using like the same three colors I used for the shirt as the earring colors. And it's, it's a little bit random. Um, so I will definitely be working on curating some nice color palettes um, that will actually make sense to my artistic eye because this one is not a giving. <laughs> So here I went in with the background color and I'm doing like this yellowy golden, like I want it to look like sun rays. And I really liked how these colors looked, especially once it dried down, like it just was like so flat and really beautiful, especially in person. I wish I could get like the full look in person that you see, but you can see how incredibly flat it is. And that's really hard with light colors to not get that streakiness. So I was very impressed. I had to break out my white ink I use this to add shine on all of them and it's just that little final touch I really love how this came out I'm definitely a fan of Ohuhu markers and I will be using them again I hope you guys enjoyed this extended coloring with cocoa let me know what you thought down in the comments below and I will see you next time bye bye